what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking jazz before here bring you guys another classic and this one the classic of classics because this one's the boss of all call of duties call of duty 4 now a little bit about my history with call of duty 4 i never got to play it full time though i never got to do any you know setup class setups i don't even know the weapons of this game i don't really know which is stronger the maps uh not even either <laughs> look i only play like around 40 to 50 games on this game and that's it and the reason why is because I had to go over to my brother's house in order for me to play this game. And back in the day, I didn't even have internet, so that's why I was rarely online and even bothered with uh, Call of Duty. And also, I think this game was released is was um, released in 2007. And uh, what happened during 2007 with me is that I was in you know in Madden, and I wasn't into Call of Duty yet. I wasn't even you know thinking about making any commentaries or making any kind of cool stuff. With Call of Duty, actually nobody was, nobody was recording Call of Duty not until X Jaws though, and that's another thing everybody has to get that X Jaws was the first one who created a video for Call of Duty, and that everybody just copied from there. So before anybody says that uh, you know somebody's stealing, stealing videos from you from Call of Duty, actually you all stole the the idea from X Jaws because he was the first one who put uh, the commentary over a Call of Duty game. So think about it and let that sink in. So anyways, we all copied x -Jaws. More about Call of Duty 4, you know, everybody enjoyed it. Everybody was going, you know, psycho in this game. I pretty much saw a lot of gameplays back in the day, back when I was interested in watching other people's gameplays, because right now I don't even, I'm not even interested because it's mostly, um, you know, very informative and I don't really need that because I need to come up with my own stuff and not with other people's stuff. So that's why, you know, I don't see other people's gameplays, not even from Call of Duty 4 because... I want to experience it by myself. I don't want other people telling me what to do. So, I bet most of you guys, when you grow up, you know, maybe like a, two years from now, you won't even see my videos because, you know, they're, they're, they are very informative and all, and, but you want to come up with your own stuff. So, I would understand, though. I would understand. I went, I went through that phase, and look at me now. I can come up with my own classes whenever I want, and I'm actually pretty good with my own classes that I create. So, um, it's just something else. So, anyways... Um, and also, about Call of Duty 4, back in my day, I used to be the king of claymores. Like, I would just leave one of the random spot and or one of the most overused passages in the whole map, and uh, I would leave one there, and I usually get kills, and I was very impressed by it, because I wasn't even that good, and, you know, I was leaving claymores, and God damn it, you know, I got random ass kills, and it was amazing. That was during Ground War and uh, 6v6 Domination. It was pretty much fun stuff to do. And also, I did went... 1v1 against someone in the, in the container ship and I, I think it was against a girl because I remember that day you know she told me um, what she told me that her name was Cynthia or something like that I'm not sure what it was but um, she had like a not a boy not a boyish but yeah actually I'll say boyish um, you know gamer tag but uh, she ended up putting her mic on and she told me I was very impressive and if I would like to join her clan I said yes but you know, pretty much I didn't have a PS3 in my house, and, you know, I pretty much lost, lost contact with her and, and never see her again. So, um, so yeah, I beat up a girl's ass in, uh, in containment in the 1v1, and uh, it was pretty cool. So, yeah, and that was my first victory ever also. Well, I actually did, like, my fifth victory when, when I decided to change the game modes and stuff like that. But anyways, Call of Duty 4, guys, do you guys miss it? What do you guys miss about it? Mostly old school hardcore Call of Duty gamers were, um, will actually remember this game because I know most of you guys actually started from Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 1 or World at War because I know some people did. For example, Miss Deadwitch, I know she she started from World at War maybe. Um, but I me, mean, myself, I actually started from Black Ops 1, you know, when I actually started to go full-time and try to figure out what is the best weapon out there, you know, when I actually started posting up videos and stuff like that. But I actually started posting up videos when I was in Modern Warfare 3, but... I really got into Call of Duty on Black Ops 1, though. So, there's a little bit of a piece of information that you guys didn't know. Well, to mostly to my new subs who uh, didn't know that I actually wasn't into Call of Duty at all before uh, Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 1. It was after Black Ops 1, actually. So, most of the maps here are pretty much... Um, I'm not going to say trash, though, but like they were good in concept. It's just that there's some areas in the back where you can actually hide and just camp. And you can't do nothing about it because of the, of the perks and stuff. But uh, they did have a good idea, though. The maps are kind of okay. I'm not going to com complain, but you know some of them were okay. And I, and actually, I heard that Call of Duty Ghost 
was going to bring containment, containment back, which is the smallest map of all time of Call of Duty history. And I think they're actually going to bring it back better, though. I saw the trailer, and I'm not being a stuck up or I'm not sucking their dick, like people say. Um, but it does look kind of better than the original containment, though. Kind of. Because, you know, the original containment map is just pure grass and a bunch of containers. And, you know, and these guys are adding, like, some kind of a future death. I don't know, like Death Race, you know, for example, like that kind of contest going on there, like some kind of twist in the middle, but with people. So, it looks pretty cool and all, but still, I won't buy Call of Duty Ghosts just to get that map because Call of Duty Ghosts ain't worth it. I mean, they just keep putting DLC in, keep putting camels in, but that's not going to fix your game, dog. I mean, you guys got to do something. You got to have more weapons, maybe, because the weapons you have are trash and you keep updating our submachine guns. So, anyways, um,. Call of Duty 4 guys actually had like a very few weapons. It wasn't a big wide selection like in Modern Warfare 2 or in Modern Warfare 3. And um, you know, if you were to go back, I think you guys will cry because there's not a big selection. I'm telling you right now. And also, there's only kill three kill streaks. And if, if they're trying to make Call of Duty competitive, why not go into the Call of Duty 4 concept? Go back into this, and a lot of people will actually play your game again. So, anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, guys, and tell me you guys like more classic gameplays of Call of Duty.